Hello guys, the GB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a $60 tournament finals, and we have Tub as a QD versus K2 Sunny, and the winner of this will be winning $60, and the loser will be getting nothing. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description, as they are the ones that host this tournament. If you want to go play in future tournaments, check them out, and hopping right in. We are going to go ahead and see Tub as a QD win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and decide to go first, 42 versus 49. Opening hands, we have Wright, Rose Shoot, Red Rose Dragon, Ashina, and Long Young. And then they have Nib, Quick Launch, Gamma, Chaos. Yo, Nib, Gamma, Ogre, Chaos Space, Quick Launch, 49 cards, insane, talented. They're going to go ahead and activate Wright, Special Summon out token, bring out the Fateful Adventure, and then Ashina to Special Summon itself out, which will then trigger the Fateful Adventure to try to go search. They're going to Ogre that, shut it down, Normal Summon out Red Rose, turn those in the floor, Red Rose effect to go Special Summon out from deck, and now we'll go ahead and Special Summon out the Rocks Rose, Rocks Rose effect to go search, so that's going to go ahead and search out a Red Rose Dragon, and then get rid of those to make the Yazi. Floor effect, pop Yazi. Yazi effect to go special summon out from the deck. That's going to bring out Tai. Then they are thinking here they're going to Tai, banish Yazi, special summon out token. Then once again they are thinking they're going to activate, special summon out Rocks Rose. And then on that summon they're going to activate Nib. Okay. Um, I guess, I mean, aren't they just going to Ashina, summon out Vashuda, turn those into Supreme, and then Grandmaster? It kind of seems like that's what they're trying to set up here, which if they do that, and then like, you Gamma Nib them, like the Blackout that they search won't do anything, because they won't have a Worm on board, where now they're going to Floor Negate. Then they're going to drop Gamma. I guess this also wouldn't be bad. Um, it's just not the greatest. Ashina to go summon. Uh, then we'll go ahead and summon out the Otara. And then get rid of Otara. Go for Monk. Otara. Add back Ashina. Then they're going to discard. Special summon. Special summon. Get rid of those. Go for Supreme. Burn for 12. So, I mean, this isn't like... The best end board, but I mean through Ogre, Nib, Gamma, still having an interruption, that's pretty good. They draw Chaos Space, they don't have a darker light in hand. Um, even if they did, Supreme works very well versus them actually trying to summon out. So bring out Tracer, turn that into Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect, go search Boot, and Boot is a free extender here as you can special summon back out from the graveyard. Or they can Striker Dragon effect to go ahead and add back Tracer. Um, that does put a dark in hand, so they could go ahead and K. Yo, I'm out. <laughs> There's so many different routes there. That was just the worst one. Summon out recharger. They they better have a plan. There's not gonna be a plan ever. There, there's not gonna be a plan. There better be a plan, but there's not gonna be one. Affect the mill five. Hey, they're playing the brave token stuff too. Okay, so. Temple's really good in this deck because you can mill it off Pepega Ruler, and then it's like, ah, free stuff. Like, makes Pepega even more crazy. Um, so right here, they're going to go ahead, they're going to add back the Black Dragon, and then get rid of those two, make Dark. Oh, this card's so good. Dark effect, special summon back out. Um, so that's just going to bring out, like, one of the dragons. Oh, imagine they use that dragon to, like, Pisty combo them. Unicorn effect, spin back. And obviously, they wouldn't be able to do that there. But going on into the next game now, we are going to see Sword Soul go first. Opening hands, we have Ash, Wright, Red Rose, Tai, Rocks, Rose. So this is good. Um, like Red Red Rose and like Wright together is fairly strong. They have Black, Red MD, Rocket Synchron, Dragoonity, Armagram. This K2 Sunny guy has been playing this card for so long now. Like... It's not the point to where like they're testing it, it's the point to where they feel like it's a staple in their deck. Which is wild, because nobody else is playing this. So, I, I think it's just cool how like, different players can have like different opinions on things. And like, it's cool. They have white, so they open white and black, no going second cards. Opening up multiple not so great cards. That is, um, that's not good. 
special summon bring out Fateful, especially when this hand is pretty nice. And then they're gonna normal summon out Red Rose, Fateful Effect, go grab the Equip Spell, and then Fateful Effect, go ahead, grab Griffin, and then discard. Uh, they're thinking actually, so are they gonna grab Temple? No, okay, yeah, grab Griffin, discard the Equip Spell Effect to Equip, special summon out Griffin, get rid of those, go for Fluor, Red Rose Effect, special summon out, and then they're gonna go ahead and get the Rocks Rose effect. Um, Rocks Rose, go switch out the Basil Rose shoot. And then get rid of those, go for Shooting Riser. Shooting Riser effect. That will go ahead and dump Snow. Okay, so you know, not going for a Yazi here. Special Summon back out, but they do have Halk effect. Summon 001. Obviously, if they're going for this play, yep, okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense, effect, token up, 001, smack itself back onto the field. You know, I hope that, like, a lot of these little engines that are in the game, like, I don't know, I just want them to get hit, like, honestly, Needle Fiber has had its time, cool, get rid of it, or get rid of, like, the Mech and Phantom Beast, get, get, get rid of something from that combo, it's really strong. Um, like, it comes in and out of formats way too often for it to be in the game. Uh, the Brave Token stuff is far too new to get hit, but this stuff will definitely eventually get hit. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could say Fusion Destiny was only out for one format. Well, not Fusion Destiny itself, but the thing that made that good was only out for one format. Then it got hit a little bit. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they hit right to two. It's not going to change anything, but hey. Hit, hit the consistency of these decks just a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Go for Herald of Arclight. And then they just pass. Okay. Uh, they do not play Mo Yi in their deck list. Um, they only play one Tai Yi. You know, if they, they go for Yazi, they got to summon out from deck. They don't have anything good to summon. They draw Gamma. And then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out the Rocket Synchron. Then get rid of that, go for Pisty, Banish, summon out Red MD. They don't want to go for Striker Dragon and use the effect because they assume that their opponent is going to negate that. Uh, Banish Rocket Synchron, special summon out White. Then they're going to go Battle Phase Beat Over. Um, they're going to Banish to summon out Snow. Okay, so Snow Effect to set i'll go ahead and they're gonna set white which you know w w would be pretty good they already drew black which you know they, they can't really predict that they open white and black two one of in 49 beat over herald um you know they're not playing like the illusion of chaos or anything with the souls package which we have seen become a lot more popular summon out the arma then they're just gonna get rid of those. Um, summon out dark. Okay. And then dark effect on rose. So special summon that out. Then they're gonna get rid of that. Go for hey, you know they're not going for pisty combo with it, but they're making a striker dragon with it, which is still pretty cool. Effect to go search. They're gonna chain floor to negate and destroy that. Banish, summon out the Dragoonity Arma, effect, target the Mech and Phantom Beast, which means it's going to lose a thousand attack, and its effects are negated permanently. Then get rid of those, go for Unicorn, Unicorn effect, discard Gamma, put back Fleur, banish Gamma, special summon out Black, and then get rid of those, go for access code. Yeah, this is, I mean, they don't even use the effect to gain 3,000 there. Then they're going to pop Fateful and pass. Yeah, this is not good. Not the good, not the good. Drills called by, uh, like, hmm. They, they do have Ash, though, which is kind of good. I mean, the fact that they didn't use the effect to gain attack is, like, not good. So, if forgot to gain attack, put Pega moment. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's awkward. Normal summon out Ash. I mean, it depends what they play in the extract, what they could go, go for. They're going to get rid of those, go for Needle Fiber. Okay, so they do play the second Needle Fiber. And then Needle Fiber effect. 
Um, then we'll go ahead and special summon out. So bring out the Ash Blossom and then get rid of all those for Fleur. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was like saying go for Yazi, but there's no really point of going for Yazi. We already went over that turn one. Like they, they have the Taiyi. They don't play Moi. So just go for Fleur, which is extremely solid here, especially because the called by was such an insane draw. Then attack, set, pass, draw Dark Ruler. So they're going to Dark Ruler to negate, Arma effect, chain called by, that is going into the next game. So now we get to see the Dragon Link deck decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Droplet, Otara, Rose Shoot, Vashuda, and Wright. And they have Red MD, Rocket Synchron, Lancia, Quick Launch, and Fateful Adventure. So they're going to activate Fateful Adventure. Effect to go search and discard, add, get rid of temple, temple effect, banish, go search out right. Okay, activate right, summon out the token, effect to go search. That's gonna go grab the Draco back, quick launch, summon out tracer, then go for striker dragon, striker dragon effect to add boots, then they can. Banish for Red MD. Red MD effect, bring out Tracer, turn those into Popega. Popega effect, okay. Yo, hits Levy. It always it feels so good to hit Levy. And they, it hits so many darks alongside of it, so like, they literally just hit Levy and all the darks that they needed. Um, they hit Ravine too, which is like, you know, not, not great, but. Effect to hit a card in hand. Oh! Otara. Okay, hits the middle card. Go for Vampire. Look, okay. May not have been able to call that right, but I'll be able to call their mills exactly right. We are going to see Lancia. Ogre. The second Red MD. And a Temple. In that order. I don't care about your mills. I was close. I got the Ogre. Um, but, okay, they hit the Taiyi there, they hit Ogre, they hit their own Ogre, they hit Abs, multiple lights, hits Brotar. Man, that's, like, pretty, pretty good. You know, your opponent didn't hit anything besides Taiyi, and, it, you know, it seems like they only play one of it, then, you know, that, that, that that's pretty good. <laughs> so they're going to use Brotar and Abs. If that's okay, he said, give me a chance, please. <laughs> yeah, he's like, come on, stop stacking me. Sacking me, not stacking me. Uh, boot special summon out. And then they're going to special summon that out. And then get rid of those. Go for quad boral, abs effect. Go grab tracers. And it didn't matter if they got the first one or this one. Um... And then quad effect, discard pop itself, summon out the rocket synchron and the tracer, tracer effect to pop and bring out recharger. And then they can slap those into the savage effect to equip, Pepega ruler, banish the gamma and an ab, summon that out. And they're just going to get rid of those to go for the hot red and then pass turn. So they end with seal, savage, hot red. Lancia with their interruptions. They have Brotar in Graveyard. They have Rockets in Graveyard. Boot is still on board. Uh, they do have Droplet. They have all the tenues here. Uh, the opponent is not going to like stand by phase Lancia or anything, which is normally done to play around something like Temple. Uh, think, big think, almost done one second. No problem, take your time. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people treat like these tournaments and money matches and stuff as like just good testing um they're gonna activate right so like they're okay with you thinking for a little bit while they want like optimal plays uh they're gonna go ahead chain to negate and then bring out faithful so that is pretty good um special summon out the vishuda and then faithful so faithful will go ahead and search out the equip spell faithful effect chain lancia Okay, um, 
I guess. Um, if you're gonna do this, also yeah, that falls off because Savage was negated. Um, and then special summon out Griffin. I guess like you're gonna be dropping Lancia's turn anyways. May as well just drop it randomly. Normal summon out Otara Seal effect. Yo, what are they bringing off of this? Seal graveyard effect. Oh, oh. Eh. <laughs> effect a bounce. Um, I don't know. Goliath is weird. It's, it's not that great. Get rid of those. Go ahead. Summon out Baxia. Um, uh, why would you play this over, like, the level 6 one? I forget its name. Uh, Sloth? Because, like, they do the same thing. But, like, Sloth, you could, like... Is Sloth an Earth? I don't remember. Um, but I know it, it takes one tribute, so you, you can bring it out a lot more. I'm pretty sure it's an Earth, but pretty sure you can just, like, bring it out a lot easier if you happen to draw it. If you, like, tribute summon for it. Pop, special summon back. Then get rid of those. Go into the needle fiber. Needle fiber effect. Go ahead and special summon out from decks. So that's going to bring out the red rose dragon. And then get rid of those. Go for floor. Red rose dragon effect. Special summon out rocks rose. Rocks rose. Go grab the rose shoot. And then they're going to get rid of those. That makes the Yazi. Yazi effect. Pop the savage. Um, they're going to get Yazi. Brotar. They're going to floor negate the Brotar graveyard effect, which is very incorrect. You're supposed to negate the on field effect of it. Um, activate special summon back out. And if they don't activate the on field effect, oh, maybe they're just going for a game. I doubt it. I mean, I don't, I don't know how they would in this scenario. Uh, bring out Supreme. Yeah, 100%. You just negate the on field effect. If they bring it out and they don't use it, cool. You needle fiber beat over it and you still have your negate. I guess it's because they're going to tag out into Baxia and they can needle fiber in the formula. But still, like, you wouldn't want that there as a resource. Yeah, there's, there's no justifying that. So they draw black metal, but they most likely play two red MD. It seems like every single one of these lists are playing two red MD that are like this. So they're going to stand by phase, floor, bring out Baxia. Show me the dark chow thing. Imagine. Um. Normal summon out the black metal dragon, and then on summon, Halk, summon formula, effect, and effect, so they can go ahead, banish, banish, draw in the nib, and then formula effect, tag out, and then it's going to summon out Fleur, then yeah, let's say GG's, 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 um, yeah, that, that'll happen, that'll happen, um, Wow, the match was actually an hour and two minutes long. It did not feel like that long of a match. Um, it's cool to see like what kind of text they're on. You know, this person's always playing like not normal Dragon Link, I should say. It always feels like it's like 50 cards with a whole bunch of whack stuff in it. But hey, it gets into the finals a lot. You know, the only problem is it doesn't seem like they're winning a lot. But <laughs> um, yeah. But with all that being said. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.